Hey there, everybody. This is Ray Carcillo for Walmart Game Center here at San Diego Comic Con 2014. I have the distinct pleasure now of talking with Ryan Schneider, of course, the director of brand development at Insomniac Games. How are you doing today, dude? I am fantastic. Tell us what went into the uh, the art direction a little bit with this game. Sure. We wanted to create something that wasn't filled with like this dark, dreary uh, sense of the end times that are you know, seen in so many other traditional shooters. We're making something different, so therefore it should look different. What kind of goodies are you going to have us using in this game? Well, uh, one of our weapons takes uh, a teddy bear and dynamite, straps it together, and you've got the T and Teddy. So that gives you just a, a smidgen of the ideas of the weapons in Sunset Overdrive. It's really about improvised weapons uh, with a crazy twist. What are you able to do now with the Xbox One that you weren't able to do on the last gen systems? We have this mode called Chaos Squad, and we're actually able to jump seamlessly between single player and co-op and all the benefits that you got from the co-op experience can travel back with you into the single player experience. You know, it kind of seems to be one of the MMOs for this game, which is speed, right? Everything's really fast paced in Sunset Overdrive. And can you tell us a little about how that influences the gameplay? One of the reasons that Sunset Overdrive stands out in a crowded shooter, shooter marketplace is the fact that we're combining fast paced traversal gameplay with uh, shooter gameplay as well. But it's also a lot more fun to be able to wall run, bounce, jump, grind, and it doesn't make sense to do it off of cars or umbrellas, but it's fun. And being able to do that and stay constantly on the move in a dangerous world is what sets our game apart. And you mentioned it's a dangerous world. Can you tell us a little bit why it's a dangerous world? Sure. You have this company called Fizco, and Fizco has released an energy drink called Overcharge Delirium XT. All the inhabitants of the city came to this special launch party. They were turned into mutants, and now you've got to defend the city from these mutants and save Sunset City. Can you tell us what exactly you announced here? Sure, at Comic-Con this year, we really focused on character customization, and another core principle to Sunset Overdrive is it's about being who you want to be. Be the hero you want to be. And you can combine them into things that you, that you would just never get to wear in real life and let your freak flag fly high. Oh man, we are going to definitely let our freak flags fly. But now the question is, when exactly can we let our freak flags fly? Sunset Overdrive comes out for uh, Xbox One exclusively on October 28th in North America. Be sure to stay tuned to more of Walmart Game Center for all your video game needs. And until next time, I'm Ray Carcillo.